Hey, this is Will. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what are the best email marketing apps for Shopify. And actually, I think it's going to be very surprising. By the way, I do have special discounts and bonuses for the software. So check out the links in the description. I will also leave some other useful information there as well. And if anything changes, again, I will update all of the links. And every single week I give out one of my courses completely for free. So make sure just to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel to enter the competition. And if you're interested in digital uh, marketing and productivity and all of those cool things, then again, check out the links in the description. So honestly, the question which email marketing software is the best is not that straightforward because there are a lot of different factors. All of these softwares, they do differ by the functionalities they have. And honestly, it all depends on what stage you are at and what exactly do you need from an email marketing software. And I will try to explain all of these things as simple as possible and as quick as possible. So in general, there are three email marketing softwares that I recommend, which are MailerLite, GetResponse and ActiveCampaign. And as I said, it all depends on how much money you can spend and what functionalities you need. So let me explain now how they differ. So first of all, let's have a look at MailerLite. And MailerLite is actually a really, really good email marketing software. You will get all of the main functionalities and I'm not going to go in this video through all of the different functionalities that these softwares have. I'm just going to tell you some of the things that you really need to understand how they differ. But MailerLite in general, I will say is absolutely amazing option. It does, I would say, most of the things that need to be done with an email marketing software and it comes for a very 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 low price the only reason why i suggest you also look into get response and active campaign because there are a couple of things that i think they are very important that you can't unfortunately do with mailer light but if you compare mailer lights to all of the other softwares aside from get response and active campaign you will get all of the tools that all of the other email marketing softwares have and you're going to get that for much lower price and i'm going to discuss pricing later as well because there are some things to take in note with that also so first thing we want to look into and this is probably the most important part when it comes to email marketing is automations and when we look at mailer light Automations here are actually pretty advanced. As I said, you can do most of this stuff. You can uh, basically have the different triggers, the different actions, so on and so forth. But as I said, there's a couple of things here that are missing. So one of the things that is very, very important that's missing is you can't really have split automation on MailerLite and on GetResponse and ActiveCampaign. These are the only two email marketing softwares where you can do this. And what I mean by this is, for example, right here, let's say you have your email marketing automation and here you send out an email. Let's say you do, okay, let's wait for one day. And then within this workflow of your email marketing, you want to perhaps divide the audience and you can do it in half. You can actually choose a percentage, however you want to do it. Here, for example, it shows only 300 contacts to go to one path instead of the other. And then I can send out, let's say, one email copy to half of my audience and other email copy to other half of my audience within the automations that I have created and see which one performs better. I can also, I can test out a lot of different things. I can test out the subject lines. I can test out the images within that, those emails. I can test out copies. I can also create a completely different path where perhaps let's say, instead of sending email two days later, I'm sending email three days later and see which one is performing better. So on and so forth. So this is very powerful when you're building out your email automations. And this is something that only active campaign and get response has. Another thing that is insanely powerful that again, only get response and active campaign has out of all of the email marketing softwares and uh, mailer light doesn't have that it's this little section here so as you can see you have this little section visited uh url and what this means is basically you can install tracking on your website 
and then within active campaign or get response you can set up a trigger that when someone visits a specific page on your website that is going to be a trigger to start out an automation. So what this means is you can set up basically a tracking on your website and set it up that once someone visits a specific page on your website, you can start out an automation. And that is insanely, insanely powerful. Again, it all depends what exactly you want to get out of your website and email marketing. But for example, let's say, if someone goes and visits certain page, they, they might be interested on whatever content is on that page. So let's say if you're selling different services, or different products, and someone goes and visits that one specific category, then you can put them in automation that is tailored to that specific category rather than just putting them in automation that is general automation and just sending them emails about everything. Here, you know what exactly they were interested in and you can send them emails according exactly to that. So I hope you get the point what I'm trying to explain here, but believe me, it's very, very powerful. If someone goes on a certain page, you know that's exactly what they looked at. And this is basically sort of like Facebook retargeting ads, but instead of paying a lot of money for retargeting ads, here you don't need to do anything additional. You just have this additional function that does this sort of retargeting for you. So now, aside from that, you probably are thinking, okay, so which one is better, get response or active campaign when it comes to automations? And honestly, there's quite a lot of different things to look into. So get response is pretty damn good when it comes to automations. If you look here, as you can see what I like as well, they do have a lot of these pre-made automations. So you can just basically click a button and you can insert this template and you don't really need to think much. But when it comes to active campaign, active campaign takes it to the next level. They are the most advanced when it comes to email automations. So if we look, basically you can, I'm not going to go through all of the different elements and all of the major elements, you're going to find those with um, get response as well. But active campaign really takes that to the next level. They really have a lot and a lot, pretty much everything that you can think of. One thing I will mention is that active campaign they do also have a CRM, so you can use CRM within their email marketing if that is something that you are interested in. And they also have all of these different apps. So if you're already using some apps and you want to connect them with your email marketing and even put them very easily into your, integrate them into your email marketing automations, you can do that with Active Campaign, and this is where it's super, super advanced. And with Active Campaign in general, you have these so called automation recipes, and this is basically the same sort of templates that you have with GetResponse, but here you have an insane amount of these templates. As you can see, there are probably hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, and these ones are actually very, very advanced. These ones are the kind of templates that you're not going to find anywhere else. Let me see, just to show you a quick example, I saw one that was very, very interesting. So for example here, invite to follow when referred by a social media site. So what this means is basically you set up tracking on your website and on your email lists. And if someone comes from social media and they subscribe, or yeah, sorry, someone comes from social media to your website and they subscribe to your list, then you can ask them because you know they are already interested in your social media. You can send them, put them into automation that sends them out an email asking to follow you on that on that social media network where they already found you before. So this is <laughs> something that you probably might not think about right away, uh, but super super powerful and this itself would probably be additional app that you would need to pay monthly fees for and this is already included as these automation recipes and there are a lot and a lot of these and you can actually even find there is a page you don't even need to create an account there is a page i think it's called the marketplace or something like that if you type in i'll try to leave a link as well but here basically you can see all of the different recipes. And again, there are a lot and a lot of these recipes. And this really, I would say, might be one of those reasons why you want to go with active campaign than get response because you can really take the automation to the next 
level. One also very important thing when it comes to active campaign, and this depends whether it's important for you and your own business, but what you have here is reply tracking. So when you send out your email campaigns, you can set it up that basically when someone replies to your emails, then you can put them automatically in a different automation. Because sometimes let's say you might want to send out some cold emails and you want might want to get a reply and perhaps you're going to send one, two, three cold emails and you don't want to keep on sending these emails if someone already replied. And with Active Campaign, you can set it up in a way that's going to allow you to do that. And all of the other email marketing software, they don't allow you to do this. Okay, next super important thing when it comes to email marketing softwares is creating pop-ups. So when you create pop-ups, these are basically pop-ups to collect subscribers' email, build your email list. So get response is absolutely phenomenal when it comes to this. If you look at, like, for example, MailerLite, you can also create a pretty nice looking pop-up and you have all of the basic functionalities and all of that and you can adjust when the pop-ups come up and all of those things. But for example, here, let's say if I press on the image, I can basically just change the image and that is it. I can't really do that much with how the pop-up looks. When it comes to active campaign, I'm actually really surprised that their pop-ups are actually very sort of basic as well. Uh, they're not really lacking anything, but you can't really do anything very advanced. However, when it comes to get response, you can go super, super advanced. So basically what I mean by this is, first of all, when it comes to the design, as you can see here, I can actually adjust the size of the pop-up if I want it bigger, if I want it smaller. I can actually take these images and I can even add, as you can see, I can even create this sort of 3D effect where I put this image on the side and even it goes sort of above this frame. And I can add multiple different elements and all of that. I can pretty much customize my pop-up to look at as crazy <laughs> unique as I want. And this is something that honestly, you need to buy additional software for and you need to pay quite a bit every single month for just having these functionalities. But what's even more important than the customization of how your pop-up looks is if you look here at the top, you will see there's variant A and there's variant B. And I can actually even add more variants. So what this means is basically it's split testing, A-B testing, however you want to call it. But basically, let's say I can create a pop-up like this and then I can create another pop-up that looks slightly different, has maybe different images, has maybe different text. And I can test out, it's going to send out a certain percentage, sorry, it's going to show a certain percentage of the, those pop-ups to different people and see which one performs better, which one converts better. And sometimes just small couple changes, just the different heading or some a different image, different style can make a massive, massive difference. And this is so, so, so important when it comes to your email marketing, building out your list. If you manage, let's say you have, for example, let's just say you have 2% conversion rates on your pop-ups and you manage to increase that to 4%, that's going to be double the subs email subscribers that you get. And on average, email subscriber is around uh, $1. So just imagine if you get, instead of 1,000 subscribers, you get now 2,000 subscribers a month. That's additional $1,000 every single month, so on and so forth. So I hope I made it clear. It's very, very important. And usually there are a lot of other additional softwares that you use again to do all of this A-B testing. But here with GetResponse, you already get all of that with the software. When it comes to landing pages, you can do split testing on all of the softwares. The only thing here is with MailerLite, you can create some nice looking landing pages, but the only thing is the editor. When you look at the editor, it honestly is unfortunately pretty basic. Again, it is an email marketing software, so it's kind of fair game. Uh, but basically, as you can see here, I can change the image and all of that, but I can't really adjust too much. And this is what most of the email marketing softwares out there are going to be like, or even worse than that. Uh, email uh, MailerLite, I would say, is, is pretty good in terms of other email softwares, but 
when we look at active campaign for example active campaign has a little bit nicer builder and here for example what i can do let's say i have this image I can actually adjust a little bit of the size of this image and I can move it around within this sort of square of um, this element. So it allows me, it gives me a little bit more flexibility of how the landing page is going to look like. And for example, here I can change if I want these sections to look a little bit different. So it's definitely just better customization. But when it comes to get response and I probably should even say GetResponse is almost a email marketing software slash sales page builder, landing page builder. So it's definitely a lot more advanced when it comes to these things. And what I mean here is, is that, for example, let's say I have this image here. What I can do is I can actually take this image and if I want, as you see, I can move it pretty much anywhere that I want. I can move it here behind this text and I can have the text on the top. I can really customize way, way more how all of this looks like. As you can see here, I can change this whole background if wherever I want it to be. So very, very customizable and they have some good templates as well. So definitely when it comes to the landing, page customization get response by far is the most advanced another couple of things i want you to understand when choosing which one is going to fit your specific needs is when you look at um, get response as i said it's sort of a mix between email marketing software and sales uh, funnel builder so what as you can see what they do here is they have this really, I would say, user-friendly way of building out a funnel. So as you can see here, we create a section where you can um, create a sign up page, uh, create your forms where people put in their email. Then you create the emails that you're sending out and you're creating basically um, your sales pages where you're sending people to and then you can create even an upsell after your first sale if someone actually already added something they are already going to purchase something and the cool thing here is that it shows you everything so one thing as well at the top i didn't mention is because this section here uh the way you are creating it basically to create the sign up and then to create the emails that you're going to send out automatically and create send people to your sales page those kind of things you can create i would say with just email automation tools so you could do that on mailer light and active campaign as well but here what you can also do is you can add connect your ads so if you're going to run facebook ads or instagram ads you can connect that automatically to this whole sales funnel so you will have everything in one place and it's going to be very easy to track and see what is happening and then at the bottom as you can see here you will have all of your stats how this sales funnel is performing how many pages you got new contacts customers success rate basically how much money you generated through the sales funnel and what is your return on investment so it's very very cool again depends on your own needs but this makes it very easy to understand how your sales funnels are performing and just have everything in one place and very easily build everything out aside from that also with get response you get some additional features that you might not see for example with mailer light or other email marketing softwares so you also get webinars. So if you're going to run webinars, that might be important for you. You also can set up push notifications with the same software, which can be very, very useful. You can also do that with active campaign, but not with other email marketing softwares. And you also have chats. So if you want to have live chats, you can use the same email marketing software and you can also do that with active campaign, but once again, not with other email marketing softwares. And you can also even create your own store and sell your own products digital products or actually even physical products and services whatever you really want but you can create your store within this software and with MailerLite for example you can sell digital products but you will need to create those digital products and set everything up with Stripe and then connect your Stripe account to MailerLite so it is a little bit more additional work. So now let's have a look at pricing and this is where things get a little bit more interesting. You might have already made up which software you want to use, but the pricing differs quite a bit. So first of all, we have MailerLite and MailerLite is actually the only one out of these softwares that is 
free to start out with and you get up to 1000 subscribers completely for free and you can send out 12,000 emails a month and that is absolutely amazing. I will say that some people have trouble when signing up with MailerLite because they do make sure that they don't get any spammers signing up. So just have your website all sorted out, have proper pages and all of that and you shouldn't really have a problem. But after that, as you can see, if you want to get more emails, then it's going to be 10,000, oh, sorry, <laughs> it's going to be $10 per, for 1,000 subscribers, uh, up to 2,500 subscribers, $15, up to 5,000 subscribers, $30, so on and so forth. And also, this is monthly plan. If you do annual plan, you actually get 30% discount on all of this. So for example, 10,000 subscribers then, for a whole year is going to be only $420. Um, so in terms of price, MailerLite is absolutely amazing. It's one of the cheapest email marketing softwares out there, if actually not the cheapest one. And what you get, the functionalities you get are absolutely amazing. I would say it's definitely the best price and quality ratio what you're going to get out there. But if some of these additional things that I mentioned, like split testing within automations, having tracking your website and having triggers if someone goes on a specific page or having A-B testing on pop-ups, some of these things, honestly, they are so, so, so important that I would rather invest more money in the email marketing software and have those functionalities rather than save up money with MailerLite and not have them. But obviously it depends on everyone's case. But if you look at GetResponse, as you will see, they have different plans. And for uh, 1,000 subscribers, as you can see, the basic plan is only $12.30 a month, which is very, very cheap. And this is, by the way, this is 12 months. So let's just do one month. One month is $15. However, what you have to understand here is that you're going to be limited as to how much you can do with this plan. Okay, actually what I just noticed with GetResponse, they never, never had this and I don't even know when. They literally just started this maybe a day ago, but actually they have a free plan right now, which is very, very interesting. And as you can see, you can have a list of up to 500 contacts. So that is very, very interesting. One thing I will say that I already can see that they do have quite a few limitations. You're not going to be able to do certain things. Some of the things that they mentioned, you're not going to be able to do those on the free plan. And with MailerLite, actually, you're pretty much able to do all of the advanced functions even on the completely free plan, which is just mind blowing. But if you want to try out GetResponse, I guess the free plan might be pretty good. They also actually have a free trial for 30 days, so you can try out all of the different functionalities for 30 days and you don't need to pay anything. But one thing I will keep and tell you that you are not going to have all of the functionalities on the basic plan. So for example, pay attention that if, for example, uh, you want to create sales funnels and you want to have all of those advanced email marketing automations, everything that I mentioned, you will need to go with a plus plan. You're not going to have that on the basic plan. The basic plan is honestly just <laughs> very basic. And that's why it's so much cheaper. That's why it's only $15 a month, which is super, super cheap. But really, honestly, for most of the people and what I would advise, is you will need to go with the plus plan and the plus plan is $50 a month. So that is a lot more expensive than MailerLite. But again, you are getting all of those additional features that can add up in a lot more revenue for you. And if you want to go even more advanced, you also have the professional plan and professional plan. Again, for example, here you have sales funnels, but I believe you can only create, um, I think five different sales funnels and I think five different automations. And with the professional plan, you're not going to have any limitations. You can create unlimited uh, automations, unlimited sales funnels, so on and so forth. And as you can see, this is more expensive, but again, this is with 1000 subscribers. So actually if we look at 10,000 subscribers, 
the plus plan is $95 a month. So then it becomes not as big of a difference. If you compare the 1000 subscriber versus with get response versus mailer light, yes, that's a big difference, but 10,000 is a little bit less. 10,000 with mailer light is $50 a month, which is just insanely cheap. But with get response, it's $95 for the plus plan, which actually is, well, it's double. But when you think about all of the additional things you get, it's actually really not that bad. And professional one is $165 a month. And in addition, you also can get a discount. So if you do 12 months, you can get 18% discount and 24 months, you get 30% discount, which really makes this not so bad. And 10,000 subscribers is only $66 per month, which is not that bad for everything that you are getting. And when it comes to active campaign, active campaign is the most expensive. So as you can see now, they have this discount for first three months. But usually for 1000 subscribers, the light plan starts from $30 a month. The plus is 70 and the professional is 160. And then you have enterprise as well. And that is quite a bit of a price jump. And you need to have a look at what exactly you want to have. For example, here, let's say the split automations. And I believe also if you want to have the site tracking, I believe that also only comes in the professional plan. But if you really want to take this to next level, as I said, in terms of all of these super advanced automations, all of that, then active campaign is a good choice. So if you know that you're going to go in super hard with automations and you want to really generate as much revenue as possible and really active campaign is way more advanced than all of the other uh, email marketing softwares and that's why they are charging premium you do get a discount if you um, do the yearly plan you get i think around 30 percent discount and let's see if we choose 10,000 contacts so this is with a discount now but the professional plan is going to be 350 dollars and the plus plan is going to be $250. So it is quite a bit more, but at the end of the day, if you're going to manage to generate more revenue, then perhaps it is worth to pay that premium. So as I said, I do have special discounts and bonuses. So check out all of the links in the description. I hope this was useful and <laughs> this does make sense. So if you are maybe just starting out, you don't want to spend a lot of money, Mailer Light then is probably the best option for you. You get quite a bit for a very, very low price. Get response again. You got the pop-ups, A-B testing, you got the best landing page editor, you got a lot of additional functionalities for a higher price, but still amazing value for what you're paying. And if you want to go super advanced, you want to go insane with your automations and that can make sense, you can generate a lot more revenue, then active campaign is the best. So really decide which one suits your needs the best. As I said, if you're interested in digital marketing, productivity, all of that kind of stuff, then check out some of the links. I will also leave some links of other useful stuff with email marketing and whatnot. So check all of the links. If you found this useful, make sure to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, put on those notifications, stay awesome, and I'll see you soon.